Oh, would you look at that? One year of videos. Many, many, many videos. Daily videos. I don't think I even missed a day this year. That's kind of sad. Call me Kevin 2020. Call me Kevion. Ah, here we go. Here's what I'm looking for. Oof. And uh, even being on stage there was just such a strange experience. Oh, I miss events. Imagine seeing people <laughs> i don't know if it's just 2020 but it looks like i have aged 20 years since this was recorded <laughs> well then 2021 should be absolutely fantastic <laughs> Hey there, friends. How's it going? You're a little bit lopsided there. Let me fix you. All right. You feeling better now, buddy? <laughs> I think it's time you go home. I guess someone had a pretty crazy New Year's Eve. I hope someone did because I, I did. I did nothing. <laughs> I figured like my past self, now is a good time to give a little update, a little vlog, if you will, a little one to one or one to 1000 or however many people watch this. I don't know. I don't like to set the bar high. <laughs> if I go in low, then I can't be disappointed. Uh, no, but I hope you had. Sorry, I'm still trying to strain you up here. You're a bit all over the place. I didn't want to bring it up. I don't want to make you self-conscious, but you're kind of like topsy turvy a little bit. But uh, yeah, I hope you had a good New Year's, folks. I hope you had a good Christmas. It has been a wild wacky roller coaster is 2020 and when i say roller coaster i mean one that only goes down <laughs> you go down for like i don't know 20 seconds and then there's like an up for a second and then you still keep going down somehow <laughs> no i don't mean to be negative there's always positives with these things but 2020 has been very very rough i think for all of us, if not, then at least the vast majority of us. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you got through it. And please, God, let 21 be easier. I'm sure it will. <laughs> How could it be worse? But I don't mean to sound negative. I really, really don't. We're, we're going to put that all behind us now. We're going to be positive from here on in. I wanted to do a little catch up. Talk to you guys a little bit more personally because I, I like to do this every now and again because I feel like with my content, it's hard to kind of have like more of a conversation and kind of like a little update and whatnot. But uh, these are the perfect opportunity to do that. Having said that, there's not much to update you on because 2020 has been such a write-off in terms of doing things. I think there's definitely some positives I got out of it. I'm delighted that I was able to continue doing what I do in creating content and as well as streaming. It's been honestly just a huge relief that I can do that. I think without you guys, I would have gone insane. <laughs> I don't think it would take much to push me over. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to you guys. I've somehow managed to remain sane. Well, at least the same amount of sane I came into the year with. And I am so thankful for that. I know it's such a cliche for YouTubers or streamers, whatever, to, to sit there and be like, thank you so much, everyone. I owe you everything. But it's honestly been just a massive relief because without this whole community we got going here, I, I would really, really, really have struggled. Um, and it's thanks to you guys that I actually had something to focus on and be productive with and have some kind of an outlet with because at least in my country the lockdowns have been quite serious and I have taken them quite serious which means I've been uh, homebound for quite a long time <laughs> in long periods on top of that going into the winter my heating broke and I couldn't get anyone to fix it. So not only am I stuck in this house, I'm kind of stuck in this room because anywhere else in the house is absolutely freezing. I'm a cold blooded creature, as you probably guessed from my content, but also circulation wise, I don't like the cold. Not a great country to be living in for someone who doesn't like the cold. But cheers to you for keeping me sane. Thank you. It's funny as well, because that, that kind of brings me to my next topic, like looking at this video from before, like, I look so different. Let me get a worse screenshot. I prefer going on a bad screenshot so people make fun of me. There we go. Dashing as always. Uh, you can see even in my face how different I look. Um, and that is one huge thing that I took out of 2020. I definitely tried to make my physical health a little bit better. Um, I've been exercising a lot uh, five days a week if I can and just eating a lot. Uh, thankfully, my metabolism was like Kevin, it's time to be a normal human. You no longer have to eat three and a half thousand calories to gain weight. A regular little bit over <laughs> what your recommended intake is, is just fine. That's enough to put on weight. Uh, if anyone out there struggles to gain weight, I completely sympathize with you. It's really frustrating. Like I think in that video, I probably would have been a 
about 70, 75 kg, I would think. And now I'm up to 92, I believe. So I've put on a lot of weight. I'm really happy with that. It's been kind of a lifelong goal of mine to put on weight and I've really struggled with it. <laughs> because of the lockdown situation as well, I have fully adopted the sweatpants lifestyle. I actually, I had to wear jeans for the first time in like two months because I was going outside and I was like, I, I want to look cool in jeans because jeans are really in right now. Everybody loves jeans. And then I realized none of them fit me. <laughs> I had to buy new jeans. I, I found one pair that kind of fit, but it was like the button was like, oh, Jesus, any moment and I'm going to go. <laughs> That's how my buttons sound like. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> but not to worry, I've bought more pants in the meantime. The emergency averted. But yeah, it's been such a long road to get where I am. I'm just really proud of, of finally getting there. I'm finally at the end of the road. Like, I still want to continue my trend and whatnot. Like, not so much putting on loads of weight, but just my exercise and eating right and whatnot. I want to continue that, don't get me wrong. But it feels like I've finally kind of done what I set out to do, which is just great because it's been so many years of trying <laughs> and it was really defeating just not being able to put on weight or like I'd managed to put on 3 kg and then I'd get sick for a week and I'd lose like five. I, that's how my body was working and it's the most frustrating thing, but I'm thankful that it's finally worked out. Um, but I'll stop talking about how much I weigh now. I think along with that, I think one of the biggest parts of 2020 for me in a positive way, is just trying to figure myself out a bit more. This year was definitely the year for thinking. I remember talking about this with uh, a few friends um, in the middle of the year. I think everyone was kind of in this mindset in, in like the summertime. I think now in the winter, people are getting a bit more down again. That's just my observation anyway from all this lockdown business. But I think in the summer, there was a period there where people were like, I'm using this to better myself and learn this or do that. And I, I kind of did that too with guitar. I picked up guitar and I super, super enjoyed it. Really, really rewarding hobby. And I'm still trying to get better at that. And again, that's something that I like, wanted to do for years, but I, I could never motivate myself. Um, but I'm super happy with that. I kind of used the opportunity of all the downtime to try and learn a bit more about myself. And I think kind of address issues that I have because there's definitely like some issues I have with who I am as a person, <laughs> which won't surprise you, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but I, I've been trying to work on myself and I've been trying to understand myself a bit better. I know probably like 17 years too late, but uh, I've been trying my best and trying to improve a little bit, uh, get myself out of my comfort zone a little bit and just address issues that are clearly there. I don't think anything too serious, but you know, I think we, we all have stuff we can work on and it helps when you're in a situation where you can't really do much to feel like you're making progress. And I think that's why all the like uh, the, the weight gain, the guitar, and just trying to improve myself in general has really helped me because it's like, I'm not wasting my time at least, I'm doing something. <laughs> So I'd recommend the same if you're in the in the same situation I would be if I wasn't doing anything where you're just fed up of all this nothingness. Um, it super helps. I know a friend who's like started learning a language, making progress there. It's just anything you can do, I think, to, to make yourself feel like you're accomplishing things is just a huge help for me anyway. I'm only speaking for myself. I don't know what helps you. I'm just generalizing. Probably not a great idea, but I'm just th thinking if there's anyone out there who needed a bit of advice, maybe that helps. I don't know, don't listen to me. I play video games all day, honestly. I'm the last person you should listen to. <laughs> if anything, do the opposite. <laughs> There's someone sitting out there like taking notes, the exact opposite. Like, okay, he's saying to like learn stuff and do stuff. So let's, let's just sit down and idle. <laughs> just sitting there idle. A few more months of this, then I'll be happy. But I'm just hoping it will be just a few more months. I, I feel like as tough as this whole lockdown situation is and please understand that i'm speaking from a position where in the grand scheme of things it's affected me but not as much as it's affected many people including many of you and you have my extreme empathy if you're in a situation where it has affected you a lot because i i, I even know people who are in um do i have bleach on my hand uh, let's not get distracted <laughs> i just 
I've ruined my my hoodie. I was cleaning things and it, it's ah, oh, that's sad. New Year's ruined. I hate 2021. <laughs> I've gotten over it now, sorry, it was fleeting anger. But yeah, you've so much empathy from me if you are in a situation where this has affected you a lot because it's gotta be feckin' taxing. But the good thing is, I feel like now that there's an end in sight, the vaccine situation's looking good. I got my fingers crossed that mid-21, this will all be a thing of the past. Just come on, dude, please. But I have high hopes that we'll be back to normality. Uh, please don't let me, me be in a clip next year in, in Kevin's 2021 20, vlog for New Year's and then I react by going, oh, you idiot, past Kevin's stupid. Just let me have this one, dude, please. I actually hate you, future Kevin. <laughs> but yeah, I think the end in sight just helps a lot. It just, just that there is a future where we can go back to normality. It just feels so surreal that this whole thing even happened. Hey, it doesn't feel like reality sometimes to me, which is weird. I know it's super strange, but um, at the same time, I almost can't like imagine going back to normal now. I've kind of like adjusted. Like I can't imagine going on holidays on a plane, for example, but I'm so glad to get, I'll be, I will be so glad to get out of that mindset and back to normality. I, I want to uh, go places and I want to, I want to do more events and stuff. I want to meet more of you guys. I, I feel like I would enjoy the experience more than ever, doing like a meet and greet and stuff like that. And as soon as this situation is over, I'm going to start doing them again because I miss them dearly. They were some of my favorite things to do and just so, so rewarding to actually meet some of you guys in person. I think luckily, although it's not a substitute, it has helped like doing the whole Twitch thing because I feel like I am interacting with you guys a little bit more and it feels a bit more... <sighs> What's the word? I guess just real when it's in real time. Uh, as much as I love the comments and I read loads of them to this day, uh, it's it's just, it kind of, it just hits different <laughs> when it's in real time. And it's really helped me kind of uh, get that connection without being able to meet you guys in real life. Having said that, the, the YouTube comments are still just uh, an absolute rewarding experience for me. Again, to this day, it's something I, I just always look at and I, I, I try and take feedback a bit more constructive than I used to if it's negative rather than just disregarding it uh, like I would a few years ago. I think the past few years I've definitely gotten better at that at least, just taking on the feedback and instead of going, oh, this person just doesn't get my humor and maybe maybe it's me that's the problem. Maybe I didn't make that quite clear enough that that was a joke. Stuff like that, just simple little things. But I, I, I definitely appreciate those of you who, who leave a comment or a, a like or dislike, whatever it is, just for feedback. Because I definitely take it on board. And uh, if you don't do that, fully understand as well. I'm a bit of a lurker myself. I always say this on streams, like when I'm in other people's streams, I rarely talk, I rarely say anything. I rarely tweet or anything like that. I, I just have nothing to say. <laughs> That's the situation, I'm afraid. For a guy who talks to himself a lot, <laughs> For a living, essentially, I I don't talk to others well, I guess. I'm excited for the new year, though, to, to what it'll bring both on and offline, because I'm excited to make more content. I, I feel like this year has been a year of adjustments with my content and trying to, like, change things up a little bit, but not too much, because I love doing what I do, but I also want to, like, adapt a little bit and, and see what works for both you and myself because I, I want to make content people enjoy. If if I'm playing a game, say I just play The Sims all the time, the whole year, I'd probably get bored eventually, but I'd probably enjoy it a lot. Like, or, or even the Among Us craze is a great example. I could have just done Among Us for like a solid month and I would have been happy, but you guys probably wouldn't have been happy. I mean, a lot of you probably would have been okay with it, but a lot wouldn't have been okay with it. And I totally get that. We're a variety channel. I don't do one type of content all the time. I know some people would say, Kevin, it's your channel, do what you enjoy. But I think the problem with being a content creator, it, it's not a problem, it's the situation with being a content creator is you want people to enjoy your content and you kind of get, you get one of those serotonins every time someone enjoys your content. And I think while I have to be doing something I enjoy, I also have to be making things other people enjoy or even if it's in, you know, a smaller scale, like uh, as long as people are enjoying the content and I feel like what I'm putting out there is good and I'm enjoying what I make, then I'm happy. But it's a wicked combination to try and nail sometimes. And as I've said in the past, one thing I always say about 
content creation, it's a weird job because you're always competing against yourself. If I do a, a, a video that does really well, like I thought it was good, I super enjoyed making it, people seem to be enjoying it, and it does great, like it, it, it it's the best out of the last 10 videos I've done in terms of views, we'll say, because YouTube always puts that in your face. <laughs> so if it's 10 out of 10, it's like, oh, you're pretty shit. <laughs> or one out of 10, it puts confetti on the screen in the studio. Um, <laughs> it's so over the top. It's a weird one. I don't know how I feel about it. But, but while I love that one serotonin I get from, from that experience, I know that the next video probably isn't going to meet that expectations. And that's going to be the bar I've set myself for the next like 10 videos. <laughs> and it's really, really bizarre. As I said, I'm not fully sure how I feel about the studio thing. I know some people actually find it quite taxing on their mental health because... I, honest, honestly, most YouTube creators that I've spoken to about it specifically tend to view it as more of a negative. Um, I definitely see where the negative impact comes from. You you go on and you work really hard in a video and then it shows 10 out of 10. This video is not performing well. It is not being clicked and it, it is not being recommended or whatever. And that sucks. But I'm also... In, uh, I, I also have the opinion that it is actually quite helpful because I'm like, okay, what did I do wrong here? Because I don't want to just ignore the problem. I've obviously done something wrong. Um, and I try and address that. And I've, I've really tried to take that on board this year. I hope it's helped the content. I hope you've been enjoying what you see this year. I've also put in a little extra effort with all my equipment and it's it's been really rewarding as well because I know you can't just like buy quality, but it, it definitely helps when you're trying to do other stuff like i i think that mafio mafio what is a mafio i think that mafio intro i did where i was the mafia man the irish dude in the in the bar i think that came out really well that was like the first i think in real life project i've done that i've been like this came out exactly as i had it in my head like i wrote my little script for it i had it all planned out in my head i filmed it and then i edited it and i was like this looks just like the simulations. <laughs> Whereas normally I have like a, a, an imaginary scene made up in my head that would look like that, but then it comes out like this. Don't get me wrong, it's the creativity that is important when you're making content. The, the amount of people I see that are like, I want to start a YouTube. $3,000 on equipment. <laughs> I'm just like, Dude, buy buy a webcam. OBS is free. <laughs> just just do that. Like honestly, you can make like a webcam look amazing with like two decent lights if you want. I hope if many of you have taken up content creation or streaming or whatever it is this year out of sheer boredom or just taking an interest, I hope it's going well for you. I really do. That's what I want to do. I want to just keep enjoying what I do, but keep trying to adjust and, and improve. So again, if you have any constructive feedback in my videos, don't don't feel the need to, to just silence yourself because like, oh, I don't want to criticize him. Like, I welcome the feedback. If, if you think X, Y, or Z is wrong, I'm totally on board. Like, please don't be aggressive. <laughs> please don't be like, look, you feckin' idiot. You're obviously doing this wrong. Constructive criticism <laughs> would be lovely. I'm so lucky to have a community that is like just so nice it's weird because I, I see people with communities this size and it seems like there's always a level of toxicity that comes with them i don't know how we've escaped it <laughs> everyone seems so nice and it's always been the way i've always been like oh i don't think we're at that point yet where like the toxicity seeps in but it just never came like i thought it would happen when we hit like half a million followers or something i was like okay this this is getting pretty big we're gonna get some bad actors here in a second then we hit a million i was like oh this is it this is their moment where they're gonna sneak in when they see that we've hit that big number this is the moment you get targeted <laughs> and i i've just been on constant like standby waiting for it to happen but it never did and i am just so thankful for that because i I, I, it's not a part I've really experienced. I, I've seen a little bit of toxicity in some videos and streams when I, we get people from outside the community come in, but it's been so rare and I've been so thankful for that. Really, really thankful. So thank you for being like the best and most supportive community I've literally ever seen on YouTube. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying it like, oh guys, we are the best community on YouTube and just disregarding other people's. I genuinely believe that we are one of the nicest 
and just the best communities on YouTube. I used to say it in my old videos. We had such a small but nice community. This was back when I had like 10,000 subscribers. But it just never changed. It always seemed to just bring in the right people. I'm unsure of how it happened, given my content is me being kind of a bad person. Oh, another thing to kill. All right, just you and me. Let's go. Oh, God. She's too good at what she does. She's dodging every hit. All right. Now I'm armed. <laughs> But it happened. It, everyone is super kind, super nice. Streaming has definitely brought that to the forefront. It shows how nice the community is. Because sometimes I was like, oh, it's only the, you know, 0.1% that are commenting and their comments are getting to the top. I must be missing the toxicity. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's real. I don't know how it happened. I always say it, but I'm so thankful. So, so thankful for how kind and nice this community is and i just hope that we can continue making content for years to come if you can stand me that long <laughs> i'd appreciate your company i'm so thankful to be in the position i'm in where this is my job like i i love it i <laughs> i can't explain enough how much i enjoy what i'm doing and at this point i can't imagine doing anything else like i remember when I used to do content when I was much younger, before I left to, to open a store. That's again a whole rabbit hole. I, I hope you know about it already. I don't really want to go into too much detail, but I did YouTube and it, it always felt like this is not sustainable. It was because it was so new as well. It, it was like this, this is not something I can do forever. And then I, I moved into running a store and obviously I had the whole accident and stuff. And then I came back and did it. But while I'm prepared if this ever has to end i never wanted to end <laughs> and i want to just keep doing what i'm doing because i i don't i don't feel like anything else fits me and my personality as much as this does and it's just it's just an amazing amazing situation to be in so thank you so much for supporting me in what I do and allowing me to be in this position. It's been a wild roller coaster. I don't know how to really fully express how, what the odds are, how strange it is that it's ended here <laughs> and I'm able to make content like this for you guys and you're actually enjoying it. And like the, the whole thing, the car accident, the store, doing the content before leaving school, all my stomach issues and all that kind of thing has led to this. It's It feels like it was a one in a gazillion chance. But I'm glad I'm in this reality and all those other reality Kevins are just miserable. I'm glad I'm the one that's having a good time over here. <laughs> but it kind of blows my mind sometimes. Um, and I just, I can't thank you enough. I know I'm rambling, but I just, it's genuine. And I, I know it sounds cliche, <laughs> but I'm so thankful for that. And it's, it's had such a positive impact on my life what you guys have done for me and i just can't express it enough i honestly can't uh but thank you i i think i'll end my rant now i i think we've rambled enough i hope this wasn't boring for you i know i don't do a lot of these and i think there's a reason for that i don't get up to much i think it would be quite boring if i did one of these every week i i did an extra one this year i usually only do them once a year but i i did do one because of the situation we were in with 2020 but uh yeah i i, I appreciate watching and i hope it wasn't boring i always feel like it's boring and i feel like i ramble too much and i rant and i just go on long winded stories even now i'm making this way longer than it needs to be but i hope you enjoyed i i'd appreciate the feedback if you liked it as i was saying it means a lot to me and again if you have constructive criticism feel free i mean it's new year's so maybe don't go too hard on me <laughs> i mean just saying like it, it is a day for celebration so if you, if you were like super negative you'd I mean, you can, it's just, you look kind of bad as well. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you so much for sticking with me. Whether you just watch one video every few months, you watch every single video, or this is the first one. As I always say with these videos, it would be weird if this is the first one. It's a strange one to jump in, but if it is, hey, watch some of my other stuff. Some of it's actually good, <laughs> I think. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, as always, I really do. I genuinely mean that when I say it. And um, I hope you had a great Christmas. Uh, good holidays. Um, I know it's a weird one, but look, hopefully back to normality soon. And we can put this whole thing behind us. Happy New Year to you. 21 is the year. It's going to be the one. I can feel it. It's going to be a good one. We're, we're all going to have a good time, I think. Uh, I hope everything's well in your life with you and your family. 
and uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.